Disclaimer, the following video is recorded different than what I usually record with for YouTube. So if you hear like random audio clicks, I am very sorry and I did try my best to work on it, but I cannot get rid of them. Also, please check out the playlist of this Let's Play before you watch this or you will get spoilers. Also, I've already made a video on how I record this Let's Play, which that in the playlist will be in the description. Thanks and enjoy, Akimbo Gamer. What is up guys, I came out gamer back at it again playing Call of Duty World at War Part 7. The mission that we're going to be doing in this video is called Blood and Iron. Now it's been a long time since I've done a part for this. So, I think like a couple months or so. Anyway, so how this is going to work is that I played the campaign on regular difficulty because for story purposes only. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. We have lost many brave men, but their sacrifice is not in vain. Tanks now form a line of steel so powerful that all German resistance will be crushed beneath its mighty treads. Today, we will watch as Sila falls, along with all those foolish enough to stand in our way. So uh, yeah, this is a tank level, and sorry this is post commentary as now we're gonna- yep, there we go, check see if all the controls for the tank work, okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna fire a couple shots to try to destroy the enemy as quick and effectively as we can because driving in a tank can be quite painful in this game, especially when we get later down the road. So, um, so I- I think I've already said, I forgot to tell you all, but this is post-commentary, so my bad. I've been very bad about that with the whole entire Let's Play series, and I'm going to see if I can do that for part 8 in the near future. Let's see if we can get that. Okay, looks like our target's too far, so we're just going to burn the house. Yep. The smell of napalm in the battlefields. Beautiful. Okay. Looks like we didn't hit him that time. Let's see if we can. Did we get him? No, we didn't. Of course, it's too far away. Anyway, let's see if we can try to destroy this empty tank thing or whatever it's called. And I don't think we did. So let's get over to the ship. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's enemy artillery. Okay. Oh, there's one German right there. We're gonna give him some good old napalm for coffee. And yeah, there we go. He's got his coffee. Napalm coffee. Already. I don't think there's an artillery up there. Artillery up there. Yeah. Uh, let's try to get this tank over here. Nope. Huh, that takes one shot, so I must have hit him earlier. Anyway, we're gonna move up to. Oh. Nope. First shot didn't work. Um, a second. Oh, oh that's the thing. Now, you, the reason why I love this game is because of its tank level. We'll get the open battlefield, you get to move around with the tanks, with the freedom and lack of invisible walls. Most modern games always lack in this. Look up Call of Duty World War II tank mission or something like that. They barely give you anywhere to move around. Anyway, we're gonna get rid of that tank and see if I can... That one down there. Yep. Yeah, that was the one. Alrighty. So, oh shoot, we got pans right in front of us. Shoot! Okay, there's our other friendly tank. And, oh shoot, I blew up the fucking fence. How? 
Why should I be trusted as a tank driver if I just blow up fences instead of tanks? Anyway, got that one over there. So I'm try to get that one over there. Okay, works. So, come on. Did we get him? Yeah, we got him. Okay. I don't know why am I using rocket launch for these guys. I could just napalm them. We're gonna napalm coffee them. As now we just napalm coffee them, and now we're gonna hit that tank. Did we destroy it? I guess we did. Oh, well. As now, I think there's an achievement for this hole. Like, if you shoot all the guard towers or water towers, like every single tower on this map, like you blow it up, I think you get an achievement out of it. But yeah, that's one of the ways to get an achievement. There we go, finally. Okay. Thanks, Fresno, for the comment. And go up. There we go. And let's check the cornfields by napalm coffee in it. Because everybody loves the smell of napalm coffee in the morning. Oh crap, we missed. And I don't think... Yeah, there's no artillery up there. But there is a tower up there. So might as well destroy it. I think we did. Not too sure. And we're going to advance up to our position up here. As on the minimap, I am the only freaking tank. Wow, I guess that's how bad the enemy tank, my teammate tanks are. Or how good the enemy tanks were against them, I don't know. One of the two. Or maybe it's me not covering them. That could, I never forgot about that option as well. As we're gonna shoot that building up, blow it up. Same with that one. But yeah, I think you can blow these things up here. Yep, you can. Sweet. Alright, and there we go. We got all the artillery. Now I'm gonna blow up this last building. Then we're gonna move on and take out that tower over there. As this did... I'm surprised how long this took. This is about 20 minutes or so. Just for a freaking tank level. But I had to cut out part where I died due to a tank because it was all glitchy and all that. Like I mentioned in a disclaimer. There we go. Here, let's experiment something. Why don't we use napalm and see how well that goes? Mm. Pretty effective. Okay. Or maybe my tank shot did it instead of the napalm. There we go. Guard tower down. There's no... See, this is what I like. You see all that open area? You can even go up there. You can shoot up there, you can go up there. This is what I like about tank levels and all these cool levels or missions on the older games. Like COD, basically because they allow player freedom and all that. And that's something that modern games do terrible with campaigns. I think the only closest one will probably be Battlefield, I'm assuming? I don't know. But, yeah, they're so linear and all that, where that they barely give you any paths to choose from. Really, just the older ones are really much the closest things you can get. And honestly, I would think this be- They even have maps or so, like... I don't know. Oh, shoot, we're taking big hit, big hits, big hits. We cannot die again. So when, back to what I was saying, like, this could, all, I think they actually turned the CeeLo campaign machine, mission, the CeeLo Heights one, they turned that into a freaking multiplayer map, and that is beautiful, but it's so huge, and that's what I like about these COD campaigns as well, is that they take assets from the campaign, like, maps or such, like Nocturne Toten, for an example, and used assets from Little Resistance, as the airfield base, and yeah. Anyway, enough yabbering about how good this game is. Let's just use napalm coffee to all these Germans. Or should I say, burnt napalm coffee for the Krauts? And yeah. Oh, there we go. We got that guy, napalm coffee. And uh, yeah, and there's two guys right there. Napalm coffee them sounds like the best way to make it. So uh, yeah, we won. Back there. 
Alrighty, and now we're gonna head over here. And oh, we're gonna destroy this radio tower. I forgot. Okay, one tank shot did not do it. And I missed the second tank shot, I think. Like a scrub. And so I guess napalm coffee to a steel radio tower. I don't know what the material that's made out of, but yeah. Apparently that works. I guess that's how Soviets work. I don't know. I don't understand this war technology back then. When it was like, what gun and what tank they are, and that's it. Well, not tanks, unless the game helps. But guns, definitely. Or like the main, no one. Okay, I'm gonna head back here and grab this. I mean, kill this Panzer Strike because we don't even get out of the freaking tank. Oh crap, I just spoiled the rest of the world for you. Oh well, I guess I'm pretty sus about that now. Anyway, let's roll up here. Remember, I'm the only tank, so it's, I'm surprised how long I'm doing. Now we're gonna advance. Oh boy. Way too much for my comfort. I'm packing up. Oh my god, we got Panzer Strike Fire coming from straight center. And then tank to our left. Step oh my god. I am surprised we are not dead yet. Back up, shoot, back up. There we go, plus that should go up. Oh my god. Let's try and make some coffee, see if that even gives us. Oh my god. If I was in there for much longer, I would have to restart again. Not like the whole level, but probably to a certain checkpoint, and that would suck. That building. Is it even blowing up? I can't even tell because everybody's firing shots and all that. Anyway, let's try to roll up. Okay, let's do it. Oh my god, never mind. It's gonna try to destroy a tank, but uh, yeah. That's not gonna be an option. Let's try to destroy this guard tower if you're lucky enough. And, uh, yeah, let's try to destroy that. Oh wow, we actually got it. That's right. Now we're gonna probably destroy. It. Yeah, we're gonna try to destroy this center and maybe some German reinforcements. Oh my god, Jesus! Man, it's getting too crazy up here, and it's only a regular. You know, oh, well, I'm an idiot. There's a guard tower to the right. No wonder why I didn't get bombed. That makes sense. Anyway, let's see if I can pick up top two. There we go. Did not notice that one either. Now we're gonna do the shoot, back up shoot. Oh boy. And yeah, we're just. Yeah, I guess I'm trying to shoot that surround. What the frick was I doing? And uh, yeah, so I hope that takes the story. So we did. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, he's still alive. So there we go. Mission sorted. Oh my god, how does that work? Yes, we're using the name pump coffee. Yeah, we're using name pump coffee. To bear in mind, this is post commentary. As now, for the last part, like the last part of the level, I'm gonna shut my mouth and like let you all like experience like what's the sounds and all of that actually like. Because pretty much I've been talking for over half of the video now. Which that is a new record for me without even stopping talking. So yeah, I'm just going to get up to this next checkpoint. I'm going to let it all lay it out naturally without commentary. I'm going to incorporate this onto the upcoming parts in the near future. And just waiting for that new check. Okay. Do we hit the checkpoint? Okay, we hit the checkpoint, so uh, yeah. Starting from now to the end of the next cinematic, I'm gonna shut my mouth and you all get to hear the gameplay now. See you till then.
And once again, that's going to be it for part 7. If you guys enjoyed it, smash the like button. And as long as you guys subscribe, the heart of this channel can never be broken. And that's going to be all for this video. And always, guys, dual wield your way to victory. Trust me, I have it and it works. See you all in the next video.